Hello there. Welcome back to our virtual pub quiz. I think this is our 10th one. I uh, had a bit of a break over half term, so if you're joining again, thank you very much for returning. I hope you all had a great half term. I really did. I rested up. Um, I think it was beautiful weather. It made it kind of cruel that we can't see our friends and family as much as we'd want, but still, we've got to keep um, with those government guidelines, don't we, really? But great weather. Um, I got really sunburned, even though I was wearing covered up, but that's just me, isn't it? Um, so uh, I've got another round, four rounds of 12 questions for you today. Um, and I liked using the joker last time. I thought that worked quite well and the idea that you can double the points for any of your given rounds. So I'll read out what the rounds are because you have to declare in advance of the beginning of the round, which round you're going to double. So round one is going to be world geography. I thought it's only fair because I did history last time, so I'll do geography this time. Um, we have food and drink for round two. Uh, round three is a good, I like this one. Round three is you have to guess the celebrity or kind of persona that appeared in very famous music videos. So you have to tell me the celebrity that appeared in famous music videos. Aside from the artist that's singing, but we'll come back to that. And round four is general knowledge and current affairs. So general knowledge and current affairs. So that gives you a bit of an overview of which rounds we have. Um, so I'm just going to go on to round one. So there's 12 marks per round. Um, you can double one of those rounds, but you have to declare it before the beginning of the round. Otherwise, it doesn't count. So round one is world geography. So question one of round one is what is a capital city of Australia? What is the capital city of Australia? Question two. Which of these countries has the largest population? A, France, B, United Kingdom, C, Italy, or D, Thailand? So which of these countries has the largest population? A, France, B, United Kingdom, C, Italy, or D, Thailand? Which of those countries has the largest population. Question number three. What river flows through the centre of Paris? What river flows through the centre of Paris? Question number four. Which of the 50 US states is the only one to have one syllable? So it's a one syllable name. So which of the 50 US states is the only one to have a one-syllable name? Number five. What is Aurora Borealis also known as? What is the Aurora Borealis also known as? Question number six. A good one here. That's a nice one. What mountain range is Mount Everest located? So Mount Everest is located in what mountain range? Question number seven. Sofia is a capital city of which country? Sofia is a capital city of which country? Question number eight. Which country in the world has the longest coastline? So which country in the world has the longest coastline? Question number nine. Cape Horn can be found in what country? Cape Horn can be found in what country? Question number ten. True or false? Now, I'm going to style this question carefully, but true or false? It is possible to walk between the USA and the Rus and Russia. So it is possible to walk, true or false, between USA and Russia. Now, obviously, depending on how long it would take you, but is it possible to do that? True or false? Question number 11. If I was hoping to catch a flight from Paris to London on the 20th of April 2010, what would have caused my flight being cancelled? What would have caused my flight to be cancelled if I was hoping to go from Paris to London on the 20th of April 2010? And 
And the last question, question number 12, what is the currency of Sweden? What is Sweden's currency? That's the last question of round one. So, um, hope that's all in order. If you need to um, me to go through the questions again, just literally just move back on, on YouTube. It's easy enough, it's easy enough. So onwards to round two. If you want to use your joker, declare it now. Round two is the joker round, so declare it now if you so wish. Question number one of round two. What type of pasta has a name meaning little worms? What type of pasta has a name meaning little worms? Question number two. What is the UK's best-selling flavour of soup? Question number two is what is the best UK's best-selling flavour of soup? I love it, so I buy it a bit as well. By weight, so if you were to have every single one of these spices in terms of just sheer weight, what is the most expensive spice in the world? So by weight, what is the most expensive spice in the world? Question four. Aduki, Borlotti, and Cannellini are types of what? Aduki, Borlotti, Cannellini are types of what? Question number five. The dish toad in a hole involves baking what in batter? So a toad in a hole involves the baking of what in batter? I love M&S toad in a holes. They're really good. I'll check them out. Pretty good. Question number six. Grenadine is obtained from what fruit? So grenadine is obtained from what fruit? Question number seven. Which French city is famous for its mustard? Which French city is famous for its mustard? Question number eight. What is the British name for a zucchini? What is the British name for a zucchini? I like that question. Just because I like the name zucchini. Question number nine. IPA. Not till you're 18, but it's a nice, um, relaxing, calm drink. Um, it's a nice, when it's cold, it's really nice. An IPA. But what does that IPA stand for? What does IPA stand for? Number 10. What luxury food shop has been in Piccadilly, London since 1707? So what luxury food shop has been in Piccadilly, London since 1707? Probably have a good guess at that. If you know your 18th century shops. Or you just, you've been there. It's quite famous. Question number 11. What country do red onions originate from? So what country do red onions originate from? The humble onion. But red onions, what country do they originate from? And the last question, um, question 12 of round two, food and drink. Now this is one of those things where they say, oh yeah, um, they famously said it when actually there's no record of them actually saying it and it's just kind of gone down in history as something they've said. But who famously, but probably didn't, say, let them eat cake? Who famously said, let them eat cake? The Queen song, it's a lyric in that. I'll say no more. Okay, that's round two finished. Again, if you need me to repeat them, just go back. Um, if you'd like to have a break, have a break. Um, pause me now. If you just now unpaused me, welcome back. But we're moving on to round three. 
um, which is, I, I really like this round, and I can't take credit for actually making it, but it's something I really wanted to do, and someone that really helped me with it, but it's a really good, really good round, um, but quite difficult not to put you off playing your Joker if you want to play it for this round. So this is where you have to tell me the celebrity or persona that appeared in the music video. Now these aren't really kind of um, kind of uh, obscure music videos that you've never heard of, and they're not um, celebrities that you've never heard of either. So they're, they're quite famous. Um, and it's also not kind of like ones that they were in when they were kind of up and coming. It's, they were quite big and they're quite obviously in that music video for a reason. So if you really want to kind of play fast and loose and say, well, I think that really obscure actor is, is quite famous, um, that he or she should be in um, included, well, fair enough. But try not to cheat on this one and just go with it. Who cares? It's, it's just a little bit of fun. So round one, sorry, round three, question one. So please tell me which famous celebrity appeared in Weapon of Choice by Fatboy Slim. Weapon of Choice by Fatboy Slim. Number two. Now there are potentially two people you can mention in this, but you only get one point for it. But who, uh, which famous celebrities appeared in Love the Way You Lie by Eminem Feet Rihanna? So I say celebrities, no, famous people, actors, actresses, personas. What, one of the two of those people that appeared in Love the Way You Lie by Eminem, Feet Rihanna. Number three, who appeared in Crossfire by Brandon Flowers. And you can't say Brandon Flowers. You can't name the artist who, who wrote it or is singing in it. It's got to be the famous celebrity. Crossfire by Brandon Flowers. Number four, Lego House by Ed Sheeran. Who appeared in that music video? Lego House, Ed Sheeran. I won't give you any hints or clues because you could probably work it out. If you know Ed Sheeran. If you don't, you haven't missed much. Number five, I Want Love by Elton John. I Want Love by Elton John. Who appeared in that music video? Question number six, Boys by Britney Spears. I won't sing it, but Boys by Britney Spears. Who appeared in that music video? Number seven, who appeared in Stylo by Gorillaz? Stylo by Gorillaz. Again, very famous celebrity appeared in that one, really big. Stylo by Gorillaz. Number eight. Who appeared in the music video to Harmony Hall by Vampire Weekend? Who appeared in Harmony Hall by Vampire Weekend? Number nine. Lover of the Light by Mumford and Sons. Which celebrity appeared in that video? Number 10, I love this music video, it's really good. But who appeared in Black or White by Michael Jackson? So who appeared in Black or White by Michael Jackson? And if you think, oh, there's a couple, because there are a couple, go for the most obvious one. Number 11, Quite famous for this. Who appeared in Dancing in the Dark by Bruce Springsteen? Who appeared in Dancing in the Dark by Bruce Springsteen? And number 12. Learn to Fly by the Foo Fighters. Who appeared? Or, you know, again, there could be a couple of people, but who appeared in um, Learn to Fly by Foo Fighters? So there you go. Some of you would have found that really easy and really like that one. Some of you would have been like, I have literally no idea. Um, so apologies if you're one of those people. Uh, but that's out of 12. That's round three. If you played your Joker on that and you did quite well, congratulations. If like probably quite a lot of people didn't do so well, that's okay. I think you have to be of a certain generation to have watched a lot of 
music videos. So, on to round four, which is just a general knowledge in current affairs round. Um, so, moving on, unless you want to have a break, feel free. If not, let's just go to the answer, uh, the questions. So, question number one, round four. Um, in what year was a popular video game, Fortnite, first released? I remember downloading this because I thought, oh, I'll get really down with the kids. And I just wasn't very good. And it's really hard. You just hide in a bush and wait for, like, the last person to then just shoot you. So, Fortnite. What year was it first released? Would never have known this, so if you know it, kudos. But question number two, what is Postman Pat's surname? What is Postman Pat's surname? One of my all-time favourite TV shows. So question number three, what is the name of Mackenzie Crook's character in the sitcom The Office? What is the name of his character, the character that he plays in The Office? Mackenzie Crook. Question number four. I love the golden raspberries. They, um, I think it's always good fun because they release it like the week before, the day before, I think, the Oscars are announced. And the golden raspberries are there to award and celebrate the worst films of the year. Um, and I, I always remember Halle Berry actually turning up to the award ceremony and actually kind of accepting the award. So it's like, oh, fair play to you. Well done. Um, so the golden raspberries. So the 2019-2020 golden raspberries... What film won the Golden Raspberry for Worst Film of the Year? And again, just think about it. The Worst Film of the Year. It was literally just the most recent Golden Raspberries we've had. Question number five. Which Stephen King novel takes place mostly in the fictional Overlook Hotel? Which Stephen King novel takes place mostly in the fictional Overlook Hotel? There's an excellent scene in um, Ready Player One that goes there. Really good scene. I love my gifts. I really do. Um, but again, I confess I'd never have known what it actually stands for. So that's what question six is. What does GIF actually stand for? G-I-F. GIF. What does that stand for? Question number seven. Now, this isn't my first question I've had about Andy Murray. It's not like I've got a thing for him. It's just, it's a good question. So question number seven. How many Grand Slam titles in total has Andy Murray won? So I think the last question I did was about Wimbledon. But how many Grand Slam titles? Oh, no, I think the last question was actually about Andy Murray's brother. Who cares? Moving on. How many Grand Slam titles has Andy Murray won? Question number eight is an anagram. So you have to tell me what film this anagram is. So the anagram is End of Mining. End of Mining. You might want to pause me for a, a minute or two until we work that out. But what film is that? End of Mining. Number nine. In the Star Wars universe, uh, Emperor Palpatine ends up getting rid of the Jedi Order because he implants into all of the, um, the, the clone troopers a secret order. What is the name of that order? Kind of given a lot of that away, but oh well. What is the name of that order? Number 10, this is on um, Have I Got News For You, I think, last week, and it was, I didn't know it, but this is great. According to Chris Evans, what is the Queen's favourite song? So Queen Elizabeth II, good old Queenie, apparently, what is her favourite song? Now, Queen Elizabeth, Your Majesty, if you're listening to this quiz and I give the wrong answer, I do apologise. And if it's not right, it's not right, but allegedly, according to Chris Evans. Number 11, obviously um, we've seen, you know, with, with great sadness, the, the large-scale protests 
that have been going on in America and across the world um, in solidarity about the, the death of um, George Floyd and the protests in, as a reaction to the killings, but also about you know, systematic racism and police brutality towards minorities. Um, however, the question isn't necessarily about that. The question is, where did the actual original killing happen? So what US city did the original killings happen? Or original killing happen? Because it was a killing. What US city? And the last question, the last question. This week, the government announced, for better or worse, if they're too late or not, doesn't really matter, but for better or worse, the government announced this week that if you are to use public transport, you must wear a face mask. If you fail to wear a face mask, how much money will you be fined? How much money will you be fined for refusing to wear a face mask on public transport? And that is the last question of round four. So if you played a joke on that and you've got a good mark, well done. And I will leave you with the final random question, um, which is just completely, you have no chance of, of, of doing it. Now, I love a bit of Pokemon, grew up with it, love it. And um, in 2016, they brought out Pokemon Go, which took up so much of people's time and people were just walking around into roads trying to catch Pokemon. I'm sure you remember it. Well, with the easing of restrictions and allowing people to walk, for a large, you know, for, for however long they want, really, um, outside, I thought, what a good time to download Pokemon Go or re download it. So, my question to you, which again, you probably won't have a chance, what was the last Pokemon I caught? What was the last Pokemon I caught? If you know your Pokemon, there's 600 of them. So, you've got one in 600 guess. If you don't know your Pokemon, you haven't got a hope. So that is the end of the quiz. Um, let's go through the answers again. Feel free to have a, a drink, have a break, have an argument with the people about the answers you've got. It's totally up to you. But don't argue. This is all for fun. It's not worth it. Okay, so round one, um, world geography. So again, if you did your joker, you double the overall score you got. So question number one of round one, what is the capital city of Australia? It's Canberra. Which of the, question two, which of these countries has the largest populations? A, France, B, United Kingdom, C, Italy, or D, Thailand? It is A, France. France is just a smidge ahead of the United Kingdom. Um, but yeah, about 65 million, I think it was, 63 million, something of that nature. Was it, so, France has a large population by a few hundred thousand. Um, number three, what river flows through the centre of Paris? It's the Seine. Again, there are a couple of other rivers that flow through it, so, you know, it's if you've got another river, it's just not the Thames. It's the River Seine. Um, it's the main river that goes through it. Um, number four. Of the 50 US states, what is the only one to have one syllable? So one syllable is a name. It is Maine. Maine. Number five. What is Aurora Borealis, also known as the Northern Lights? The Northern Lights. I was going to flip that and say, what is the Northern Lights, also known as? But I want to make this student friendly, so there we go. A student-friendly question. Number six, what mountain range is Mount Everest located? It is in the Himalayas. The Himalayas. Again, I was going to go for K2, and that's in the Karakoram, but again, we all want to need a boost to get that question right. Number seven, Sofia is the capital city of which country? It's Bulgaria. Which country has the longest coastline in the world? It's Canada, or Canada, depending on how you want to call it. Cape Horn is found in what country? I was going to give you a clue and say rounding the horn is a, a nautical term um, where you literally go from going south to then north. Um, but rounding Cape Horn um, means that you are going past Chile. So it is literally right on the end. It's South America. It's Chile. Cape Horn. Very treacherous waters. Bad currents. Not like I'm speaking from experience. But I'd love to see Cape Horn. Right, true or false, it is possible to walk via land um, between the USA and Russia. Okay, so this is a really dodgy question, so I hope it doesn't cause any arguments. But technically it's true, you can, and I'll explain. So if you put true, congratulations. If you put false, and you listen to my answer and explanation and think, you're mugging me off, uh, I don't care if you give yourself a point. But it's technically true, um, because there's actually two islands um, in the middle of the Bering Strait. That, so the Bering Strait's 
about 50 odd miles um, at certain stages. The shortest is about 50 miles between Alaska and Russia. And um, in the winter, there's two islands in the middle of it that are only about two and a half miles apart. And Russia owns one island and America owns the other. And during the winter, it freezes. So you can literally walk via the ice between Russia and America. So there we go, it's technically true. Number 11, moving on. If I was hoping to catch a flight from Paris to London on the 20th of April 2010, what would have been the cause of my flight being cancelled? Now, those who were teaching at the time might remember this because a load of colleagues were stuck, stranded in foreign countries because it caused, well, it was, it caused a big kind of Europe-wide and worldwide kind of um, closure. It was the volcanic eruption of um, in Iceland, and I can't quite pronounce the volcano, so I'm not going to try. But volcan volcanic eruption caused um, huge delays um, and cancellations. All flight was cancelled across Europe. So it was a volcanic eruption from the Iceland volcano. If you are in year seven, you'd have been all of like one or two years old. Goodness. Anyway. Right, and number 12. What is the currency of Sweden? It's the krona. Krona. Right, so all those up. Moving on to round two, food and drink. Number one, what type of pasta has a name meaning little worms? Um, it's vermicelli, vermicelli, vermicelli. Number two, what is the best-selling flavour of soup in the UK? Tomato soup, tomato soup. Love a bit of tomato soup. Heinz, it's got to be Heinz. I know it's a bit sweet, but I love Heinz tomato soup. I'll let you debate that. But Heinz tomato soup with some bread is, is beautiful. Number three, what is the most expensive spice in the world by weight? It's saffron. Saffron. Aduki, bolotti, and cannellini are types of bean. They're a type of bean. Number five, toad in a hole involves the baking of sausages with batter. So it's sausages. Number six, grenadine is obtained from what fruit? It's obtained from pomegranate. Pomegranate. It's obtained from pomegranate. Number seven, which French city is famous for its mustard? Dijon. Dijon mustard. Number eight, what is the British name for a zucchini or zucchini? It's courgette. Courgette. Number nine, IPA stands for India Pale Ale. India Pale Ale. Number ten, what luxury food shop has been in Piccadilly, London, since 1707? It's Fortnum and Mason. Fortnum and Mason. Number 11. I do like onions. And I've got to the stage where it doesn't make me cry when I cut them, cut into them. Number 11. Um, what country do red onions originate from? It's Italy. Italy. They come from Italy. And number 12. Who famously, in legend, but... Uh, actually just didn't, but famously said, let them eat cake. It's Marie Antoinette, Marie Antoinette. Supposedly in response to um, the bread riots and, and starvation and poverty, it says, let them eat cake to the protests and rioters in Paris. Right, round three. Now I like this round, so I'm, I'm gonna go through it. Um, which celebrity appeared in the music video? So like I said, these aren't really obscure. They're, they're reasonably well known. So if, again, if you didn't do very well in this one, I do apologise. If you know your music videos, you'll probably do quite well in it. So question number one, uh, weapon of choice, um, Fat Boy Slim. That's Christopher Walken. That's um, when he flies around the kind of, I think, uh, I don't quite know where he's, but he's in like an office building and he flies around it. That's Christopher Walken. Love the Way You Lie um, by Eminem and Rihanna. That's Megan Fox and Dominic Moynihan. So obviously Dominic Moynihan um, was a hobbit in Lord of the Rings, Merry. And Megan Fox, obviously from Transformers and um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle films. Um, there and that. Number three, Crossfire by Brandon Flowers. That's Charlie's Theron. Uh, Charlie's Theron. She actually also directed a Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, video, but it doesn't matter. Uh, number four, Lego House by Ed Sheeran. That's Rupert Grint. A really good music video, actually. Rupert Grint plays kind of um, a fan of, Ru of Ed Sheeran, and it's really good, really good. 
Number five, I Want Love by Elton John. That's Robert Downey Jr. Now, that's Robert Downey Jr.'s um, first appearance, apparently, after he just came out of jail. Um, or was it rehab? Can't remember. Basically, just took the job for the, for the money. But Robert Downey Jr. is in I Want Love. It's when he walks around the house just singing the song. Um, number six, Boys by Britney Spears. That's um, Austin Powers or Mike Myers. You can have either one of those, Austin Powers or Mike Myers. Number seven, Stylo by Gorillaz. Bruce Willis is in that. He's a cop chasing um, the fictional gorillas. Number eight, Harmony Hall by Vampire Weekend is Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill is in it. He's not in it much, but he's in there. He's baking um, pancakes with Vampire Weekend. Love of the Light uh, by Mumford's Sons. That's Idris Elba. Idris Elba. So instead of being uh, Bond, he just does music video with Mumford and Sons. I don't know which one's better. Number 10. Black or White uh, by Michael Jackson is Macaulay Culkin. He's the kid at the start who's playing guitar and then moves the, the speaker stereo into, um, into uh, his parents' living room and his dad launches out of the house. Um, Old school, old school. So that's Macaulay Culkin. Number 11, Dancing in the Dark by Bruce Springsteen. That's Courtney Cox. Courtney Cox Arquette, depending on how you want to call her. But Courtney Cox, she is in it. And number 12, Learn to Fly um, by the Foo Fighters. That's Jack Black or Tenacious D. Um, they're both in it. So the band Tenacious D, are in it, but Jack Black is, is quite famous for it. Um, my, my new, so that's out of 12. My new favourite one is um, the Liam Gallagher song. It's got Eric Cantona in it dressed as a king, walking around drinking wine. How how they get some of these celebrities into their music videos, I don't know, but maybe it's the money, I'm not sure. So there we go. That's the um, the music round, or the music video round. Total those up out of 12. And last but by no means least, round four, general knowledge. Um, number one, uh, what year was the popular video game Fortnite first released? It's 2017. 2017. What is Postman Pat's surname? It's Clifton. It's Clifton. Like the suspension bridge. Number three. What was the name of Mackenzie Crook's character in the sitcom The Office? It's Gareth Keenan. Gareth Keenan investigates. Or investigates, as he can't spell it. <laughs> but it's, it's great. If you're old enough, watch The Office. It's very funny. Number four. Which uh, film won the Golden Raspberry for worst film? Cats. <laughs> I haven't seen it. But I hear from people who have that it is just absolutely horrific. Um, so that is um, Cats. Um, number five. Which Stephen King novel takes place mostly in the fictional Overlook Hotel? It's The Shining. The Shining. Uh, number six. What does GIF stand for? It stands for Graphics Interchange Format. Graphics Interchange Format. Number seven, how many Grand Slam titles has Andy Murray won? He's won three, he's won two Wimbledon, and he's won um, uh, the US Open. So there you go. The film anagram, End of Mining, Finding Nemo, Finding Nemo. In the Star Wars universe, Emperor Palpatine murders the Jedi by executing what order? It is Order 66. It's a bit of a a meme itself, Order 66. Number 10. According to Chris Evans, what is a Queen's favourite song? Dancing Queen by ABBA, supposedly. Dancing Queen by ABBA. So, supposedly, um, Dominic Cummings was seen dancing to this song as well in recent news. Number 11. Um, obviously, there's been large sale protests at the death of George Floyd, and it started in Minneapolis. Minneapolis. And number 12, the last question that counts. Um, how much can you be fined for failing to wear or refusing to wear a face mask on public transport? A thousand pounds. So if you get a thousand pounds for pocket money, or you've got a thousand pounds lying about and you want to lose it, don't wear um, face masks on public transport. But do. Wear face masks, I'm joking. Wear face masks on public transport. Okay, total those up. Again, if you had the um, the Joker and you decided to use it on that round, double it, as with every other round. And finally, 
I downloaded Pokemon Go again because, you know, I'm walking a bit, so you can. And what was the last Pokemon that I caught? It was a Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan. I caught a Hitmonchan. If that sounds familiar to any of you, brilliant. You're as sad as I am. <laughs> I'm joking, it's not sad. Pokemon Go is great. So, um, there we go. That is all of the questions. Um, total up, it is out of 60, because obviously, unless you didn't use a, a Joker, it's out of 48. But if you, you should have used it. So it's total out of 60. Total those up. Um, share with the people that you're doing this with. And thanks for playing again. Um, and I'll see you next week. See you later. Bye-bye.